One young boy is teaching us that it doesn't matter how long you've had something or someone for your love to be deep. Fox 7 Austin's Kelly Saberi joins us live in Bertram with a story of how a Central Texas organization is helping this young man. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning to you, Casey and Amanda. We are at Living Grace Canine Ranch here in Bertram. It's the only dog sanctuary of its kind in the entire state. This is where I met Robbie Gay. There's over 100 dogs here, but none of them are puppies. They're all seniors or have some sort of ailment, and that's exactly the kind of dog that Robbie wanted to meet, an underdog. Robbie Gay's heart is so big. Maybe because he's too familiar with how it can be broken. 11 year old Robbie was severely abused and neglected by his biological family, at times needing to be hospitalized. From the time he was three, he was in six foster placements before being adopted at the age of seven back in Florida. You keep at it and you don't give up. Robbie's new family took in a senior dog named Buffy. He stayed with Buffy for her last moments, even when it was uncomfortable. He didn't want Buffy to be alone. He wanted her heart to be full to the very end. Together, they've brought 10 senior dogs into their family so far. While Buffy might have had the strongest connection to Robbie, it was Randall that changed what it meant for him to trust. His mom, Maria, had found elderly Randall in a ditch on the verge of death. Money. Kids heal, dogs heal, and they heal each other. At first, Robbie was confused by his mom's kindness to help Randall after dealing with so much abuse in his past. So you mean you didn't, you didn't pass him by? And I said, no. I said, you did, you, you saved him? I said, yes. He would ask to hear Randall's story every day. Scout, quit. Now his family refers to these older dogs as old people. And although Robbie is just 11 years old, he sees himself in the old people since he knows exactly what it's like to not feel wanted. They want babies because I, they, because I want like see their first words and all that stuff. Waiting for someone to adopt him. Robbie's dreamt of a place where older dogs have their own sanctuary, a place that makes them feel what he's felt with his new family. <laughs> Believe it or not, a place like this exists right here in Central Texas. Living Grace Canine Ranch in Bertram is home to 128 senior dogs. Some of these dogs are blind, deaf, on hospice, but one thing remains the same. Once they come to the ranch, they stay at the ranch. Rhonda Minardi is the founder and director of Living Grace. Her story begins following her mother's diagnosis with pancreatic cancer. When the doctor gave her that diagnosis, that she only had a few months to live, she sat there very stoic. And she looked at me and she said, well, who will take care of Lucy? Sometime later, Minardi would take her own dog, Blaze, to daycare while she worked three jobs. There they had a giving tree. She realized the need was all for senior dogs. I just need to, to build a place for them to, to live out the rest of their lives. After hearing about Robbie's story, Minardi asked his parents if she could fly them out to Texas. In early August, Robbie spent a few days working on the ranch, having the time of his life. This is his dream to do exactly what we're doing here. For an 11-year-old, Robbie knows a lot about love. It's not how what you what you did do or what you're going to do. It's about what you're doing right now. So that's like always what I do. Like it's with life. Even you got to do the right thing. Like it's not what you did do or what you're going to do. You just got to try to do the right thing right now. Robbie's going to make such a big difference in the lives of so many dogs and humans because his parents took a chance on him. I want to introduce you to one of the dogs that's awake right now. This is Winky. Winky is one of several dogs that is up. Um, we're told that some of the bigger dogs won't wake up until you go get them up. But we'll introduce you to some of them a little bit later. And if you'd like to donate to Living Grace and what they do, we have the information on our website for you at fox7austin.com. But look how cute Winky is. Really sweet. This whole story is amazing. <laughs> Robbie's story is amazing. Yeah. The Living Grace Sanctuary is amazing. Great job, Kelly. Really good. Winky's cute. He's an early riser. Yeah. yeah. Kelly Sidberry, yeah. thank so you so much. He's an early riser like us. <laughs> <laughs> like us.